In this example, we're trying to take this function 2 over 4 minus x and express it as a power series. Now, the first thing that jumps out to me right off the bat is that this closely resembles a over 1 minus r, and that's a geometric power series. So what I'm going to try to do is fashion this guy into this format, but there's one, one thing I have to consider as well. Uh, in, as I'm converting this into a over 1 minus r. I'm also supposed to have this centered specifically at negative 3, so I can't just have it centered wherever I want it centered. Okay, so let's first of all remember uh, geometric series is the sum from 0 to infinity of a times r to the n, and that's equal, if it converges, to a over 1 minus r. So let's think. Uh, first of all, if I want this guy centered at negative 3, what does this r have to be? Well, first of all, I think it's most clear to see it here, actually. I think this r would have to be x plus 3 to the n. Um, that's your r to the n. And, I, and I, you would have to have that so that it's centered at negative 3, because it's x minus c or x minus negative 3 that make an x plus 3. And what that implies is that over here on the right-hand side, this r would have to be x plus 3, no excuses. It has to be x plus 3. That's the only way this could be centered at negative 3. So here's what we have to do. We have to start slowly manipulating this function around, not changing what it means, but changing the way that it looks so that uh, it will become what I want it to. Okay, so here, here's our, our typical approach. What we do is if I know that right off the bat, this has to be an x plus 3, no questions asked, is I will just go ahead and bite the bullet, take that x out, and put an x plus 3 in there, and then I'll deal with the consequences. So we'll write 2 over, let, let me, um, well, I'll go ahead and write the 4. I'll go ahead and write the 4, all right? And then minus, not x, but x plus 3, because I have to have it. Now, I know these aren't the same. I understand that. So what I also have to do is I have to do some sort of adjustments now. Uh, I've, I've put that in there. I'll, you know, I'll deal with the consequences now. So if this is an x plus 3, then let's, let's think about this. What did I actually contribute to the denominator? If I, if I distributed the negative back through, it would be 4 minus x minus 3. You see minus x minus 3. So there's actually a negative 3 in the denominator that shouldn't be there. I understand it looks like a plus 3, but don't forget to distribute the negative. So how do I account for the extra negative 3 that, uh, that I put in there that shouldn't be there? Then I would add 3. Uh, you can add it anywhere, but I, I usually like to add it on the front end. Okay, that plus 3 that I just put right here uh, balances that negative 3 that I um, intentionally inserted into the denominator so that it was centered correctly. Okay, so let me rewrite this now. 2 over, this will actually be 7 minus x plus 3. This is the same, actually, as the original function. Okay, if you don't believe me, then you could always just distribute this negative. We can do it real quickly in our head. 7 minus x minus 3. 7 minus x minus 3. That's 4 minus x, right? So I've manipulated this so that it's centered correctly. All right, good for us. That's great. But now, unfortunately, we just created a new problem or at least didn't fix another problem. Um, this is supposed to be a over 1 minus r. It has to be a over 1 minus r. So what I notice is this isn't a 1. It didn't start as a 1, and I just made it worse. Now it's a 7. There's a common way to fix this as well. Here's what we do. And listen carefully. After you fix the center, after you fix the center, you can make this term here into a 1 by dividing the numerator and denominator by that value. Okay, first of all, that's legal. First of all, it's allowed because you're doing it to the numerator and denominator. One seventh over one seventh is like the number one, but there's an added bonus as well. Okay, so this would be two sevenths divided by what? 
one seventh times seven would make one. All right, there's our one. All right, very good. One minus x plus three over seven. And we'll put that in parentheses. Now I know that might worry some of you that you know having this x plus three over seven, maybe that would throw off where it's centered and all that good stuff. It actually doesn't mess anything up, and I'll convince you of that in just a minute. Okay, so I think this is in the appropriate form. It's a over one minus r. I think we're ready to backtrace this now and write it as a power series. So let's do that. So I'll bring this guy up here. So if we're not getting lost in all my lines and everything here, I'll take this line out. Okay, we don't really need that. Okay, so continuing with this line up here up at the top, this would be the, uh, the same as the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of a times r to the n. So we'd have 2 sevenths times x plus 3 over 7 to the n. So I, what, I've completed my task. I've written this function as a power series, but not just any power series. This guy is specifically centered at negative 3. Now I do have to convince you of that because I still haven't answered the question for you. If you thought that this 7 divided by 7 messed up our center, I, I would argue that it doesn't. Here's how I know that. Um, if you remember some videos back, I explained how to find the center of a power series. And what I said was take any expression that contains the x in parentheses and set that equal to 0. And so if we took x plus 3 over 7 and set it equal to 0 and then solve for x, so we multiply both sides by 7, so x plus 3 equals 0. And so x still is negative 3. We still see us still centered at negative 3. We haven't affected the center by simply dividing by a constant. Yeah, so I, I'll get rid of that stuff here. Um, so anyway, yeah, we're, we're done. We've done it. So anyway, hope that helps you better understand how to take a function that looks like a geometric series and uh, backtrace it, maybe adjust the center and adjust some other factors and write the function as a geometric series.